Hi guys, welcome to Cake and It's Special and once again, happy Halloween. This week's cake, I'm going to make a witch's cauldron. So here we go. I made two 8 inch, two 10 inch and one 11 inch cake for this. So it goes 8 inch, 10 inch, 11 inch, 10 inch, 8 inch. I stack them all up like this with chocolate buttercream cream in between each layer. For this cake I made a chocolate chip cake. cake is stacked up I then put it in the fridge to set up for a while. Once I'm happy that the buttercream is set in between each layer I'm then going to start to carve. It was really difficult to carve the cauldron shape because it has to look exactly the same from all angles um, so it did take me a while but I did do it. Once you're happy with the shape of your cauldron, you can then go ahead and add your crumb coat and then pop it back in the fridge for about 20 minutes or so. Once your crumb coat is chilled, you can then go ahead and add another layer of buttercream, making this one as smooth as you can because this is going directly underneath the fondant. For this, I ended up using my offset spatula and I also have a flexible smoother that I used to get around the rounder edges of my cauldron. I made black fondant to go over my cauldron. I drape the black fondant straight over the top of my cauldron and I smooth it up to the sides as best I can and make sure it's tucked as far to underneath the cauldron as you can get it.
to smooth the fondant around my cauldron, I roll up a piece of my black fondant that I had left over and I use that to rub along the sides of the cauldron. This works better than a fondant smoother for this because a fondant smoother has just one straight surface and that will create lines on my rounded cake. I marbled together a few different shades of green fondant for the potion that will go in the top of my cauldron. I roll it out into a thin sheet, put that straight on top and then cut a circle around so that it fits on top of the cauldron. I take some more of my excess black fondant and I roll it into a long cord and attach it around the top of the cauldron. This will be the rim. I just attach this in place with a bit of water. I did have quite a lot of excess black fondant and like I say you should never waste fondant so what I did with this is I made a load of lumps of coal to go around the base of my cauldron so I just formed them into different chunks all different shapes and sizes and I put them aside to dry for a while I use a few different sculpting tools to create a spiral in my potion. I use a few different ones because I wanted it to look deeper in some areas and not so much in others. I just wanted it to look as natural as it could. I made some worms to go in the top of my cauldron out of some pale pink fondant. I just roll it out into long cords and I use the back of my knife to create the lines that go down. Now it's time to paint the cauldron. I wanted it to look old and used and like a witch doesn't have to worry about her five-star hygiene rating. So how I did this was I diluted some white food gel with some clear food grade alcohol and I just paint it down the sides. Not all the way, I just want it to look as if liquid had been poured in and out of it for so long that it's all just manky. made it more concentrated in some areas than others and then I went in with some rusty orange and green food dusts after that just so it would all stick to the sides and look gammy. For an extra touch, I dilute some food gels with some clear food grade alcohol and I put them into their own piping bags. I used red and brown and like a honey yellow for this.
and I just let them drip from the top of the cake as far down as they would go. I also add some fondant octopus tentacles hanging out the side of my cauldron and then I also roll up little balls and press them on to use as they suckers on the tentacles. I use some white fondant to create some eyes. I just paint the details on them with some more food gel colours. Once they've been drying for some time, I then dust them with corn flour to make it look like they was covered in ash. And then in the areas where it was sitting closer to the cauldron, I add some more yellow and orange food dust just to make it look like they were cooling down. Okay guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back next Wednesday for another cake and until then, please do subscribe.